talk about how every team has a new coach pretty much. <laughs> you know, the, the, the funny part is all the teams, not all the teams, but a lot, usually when it's coaching teams, a lot of the times it's when it's the crappy teams that have to change their, their coach. There was like six or seven teams on the top half of the table that changed their coach. Which so let, let me start off with a broad que- question to you guys, Dan, because of what you just said, right? It, it was so many teams. I think we were counting before we got on here, like six, seven, eight teams or whatever. Why? And then in the other leagues too, we all, we know Real and all these coaches are moving. So why do we think this is? Like, why are so many coaches this year just swapping? Why is it a coaching carousel, even for teams that were to the top? It's more than I ever remember. I don't That's know. a good I question. Mean, uh, <laughs> the, 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 about the coach, you know? Did you I, see? Did you see Real Madrid got uh, Ancelotti? Yeah, they got yes. Ancelotti. That's what I mean. He All the big was teams. Cap- like- was in competition with Conte. Ma, uh, mo- I, as I understand, the most of the players they don't like Conte. Shocking. Uh, and plus, uh, they say they say Conte ask too much, like to ask, uh, you know, like to buy people like uh, Lukaku. Yeah, he overplays his hand. So yeah. that's why they, they, you know. In other words, and the, I think the player they knew they didn't like the way he play, and the way he coached. The, the, Listen, the, the is this the second or third time where Conte's won with his team and then left? Yes. Yeah, well, so, so, so that's the thing. Like he likes to go into situations where he has to prove, and like there's less. Right. Once he has because the expectations, he, he, like he, he wants he, to get he a team. Like, it's in the seventh position. Yeah. The yeah. They say, "Oh, I bring on the second, or maybe I win." And then he say, "I can't do nothing no more, so I leave." You know? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, what does that say about him, right? Like, you go to a team, you you bring your players in, you try to build this whole like, yeah, these are my players, and then all of a sudden, when you're like, okay, the next big challenge is to win the Champions League or something or win again, you're like, okay, I'm out of here. I'm not curious with uh, our coach, with Alec. If he got back better with the experience. He tried not to play for the one nothing, you know. Yeah. And I will really start to judge him and the people we would buy. Well, that's where I'm giving him a little bit of like a uh, positive because the voice, the names that you hear him wanting are people that I actually agree with. So if he's actually going like, "Hey, get rid of this guy, give me this guy," and it's a little bit smart, then hey, good. I'm glad he's back, right? Do I think we're going to play the the most because, entertaining style? Because, no, because it's the true. I think it's the player that. That make the team. It's not that much the coach. If I mean, in other words, if the coach doesn't have the player, he doesn't know nothing. He yeah, can but try, you, you, he can try to show something like the the small team, but he cannot get more than that. But that's a perfect example: the small teams, right, with the good coach that play right. really good. You know, but but so you can't. I mean, the coach definitely matters. Yeah, but, um, yeah it matters. Yeah. So, so take it, take it for example, Sassuolo so with Dezert. We like it, how Dezert the play. But at the same time, they were winning and losing. And yeah. get, they scored on them four or five goals, too. Mm-hmm. So you yeah. can't afford to have a, a big team like Juventus, a coach like that. No, it takes something really special to pull off with like with Ranetti did with Le- Leicester, right? Or what, Le- what I can never say their team name, but to win, to win the league. I mean, that's a, the perfect season, right? But yeah. You know, but still, you can still tell good coaches they think their teams play a certain level consistently. How do you, how do you guys think uh, Inzaghi is going to be? In, at, in... Inzaghi, Inzaghi, you ah, should do know. okay. I don't I know. Think, you know but I'll tell you something. Uh, Inter has a, a trouble with the, the, the money. So Every if team. you start to if you start to sell like him, Lautaro, and maybe someone can buy even uh, what's his name, Lukaku. The team may fall for nothing. Oh yeah, I'm starting from scratch. If they I, sell I think I think Inzaghi stepped into a bad situation. I think they're going to get rid of players, and What's he a, can only go down. So I agree. It's, 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 it's a lose lose. Yeah, you you already take take Akim from there. You already change something from. And you know the, the bad day. part is Akimi is probably one of the people that with Inzaghi's style he could really use. Right, if you look at some of these other players, like they're not really gonna no, fit. The style, Frank, the style in Sagi, it's the same yeah, point. Actually, in Sagi, the, really. the, the the wing he uses more forward than back. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you take yeah. away Akimi and you take away yeah. these people, he's so, gonna be left with guys that don't really fit the. There was a three three five two. 
Inzaga should have done good. You know, Vidal. I mean, the same those people. <laughs> but if you start to take a kid, a Lautaro, or Lukaku, the team, without that, I mean, you have Barella. Do you want to run through the changes? Yeah, let's do them real quick, right? So let's go for, okay, so, so Inter. I, I have it right here. So oh, good. Inter, we got Inzaghi. All right. Yeah. You have Juventus with Allegri, and we already talked a little bit about it. I, I think it's going to be a little different than previous. Hopefully it's yeah, a little bit me more. Me too, me too, because yeah. I don't think he, he I came think with a, especially, you know what? Because they say he has a, a say to the people that yeah. buy it. So. Well, well and I think the just, first time Allegri came. Go ahead, Chris. I think he's going to adjust. He's going to like. Well, he, the he first time Allegri came, soccer. remember, he was, he was trying to carry Kohn's team forward. Yeah. So he couldn't even make them any changes because they had one three in a row. And it was like, how much can I change? Right now, I think they know it's got to be renewed, redone. So hopefully, maybe that'll oh, at help. Least, at least when the court was there, he was playing 3 5 2. Pirlo was playing with the four on the fence, you know? Yeah. So, what do you think Allegri is going to do formation wise? I don't know. It's hard to tell, I guess, until we see who we keep. No, Allegri, Allegri, I think what I understand, they want to sell Ronaldo. Right? And we agree, all agree, it's we have to keep Ronaldo, keep the ball, uh, Morata, right? The question is to buy a, a midfield. And yeah. now he say his first choice is Locatelli. Yeah, and Locatelli as, as a second, he say it's our Pogba. You know, they talk about the store. So I would have stood the team. If, Listen, were if, two they got them, our, if they were somehow, which they're not going to be able to do, if they were able to get our and Locatelli, the team's a million times better. Right, right. But they're not going to do that. They don't have. They're not what do you mean? What do you know? I don't they're know. Sell a lot of people to be able to. What do you out. think? Uh, uh, Allegri doesn't know that the midfield thing over what he has. Yeah, I'm sure he does. <laughs> But, you know, the, the, the deal is paying for the other players on other people's teams that you want. Well, anyway, I still – I do think it's going to be different. I don't think it's going to be as defensive. I hope, man. I, I would agree with that. that. I think I would agree with yeah. that, especially since, you know, some of this old guard you know, are going to be leaving. I, I, I could see – I could see – I'm hoping it's different. I You know, I, I'm hoping it is. Yeah. Um, you also have – moving on, you have Napoli, Spalletti, Right. Which Spalletti, I mean, the good Spalletti was from how many years ago in Rome? When's the last time we saw Spalletti's team? Yeah. And, but, I, but long say, time. and uh, uh, Spalletti and uh, Napoli, they talk about Colabi, Colabi, Colabali. Colabali and uh, Ruiz, maybe they go. And this, yeah. Uh, they say, they say every year Colabali. Every year, it's true. Kulabali. Dan's right. Every no, year they, they, they want to no, no, sell for money. Uh, if you, without just two people, the, the team lose a lot. I think I think that's a bad spot for him too. I, I don't like Napoli's owner. You know, their, their whole situation yeah. is never it's never good. So he, I, I don't think he's well with that owner getting fired halfway through the year. Yeah. I mean, you never yeah, know yeah. With, with the the coach. Um, so we're not sure um, about that one, right? And then yeah. where are some of the others? So the rumor at lots is sorry. Um, okay, it's not final, uh, but we'll see. Do, I mean, do you have any confidence in Sari? No, not but Sarri, yeah. Sarri, what, they, what did they say? Sari like the Lazio roster. Yeah. They do, their starters are having good starters. So it could, no it could be they play better. I think they'll end up having a team that scores a lot of goals and gives up a lot of goals. Yeah, but I don't properly. understand one thing. With Sari game, right? And you see you have already Correa, a mobile. How you place them if you want to play 3 3 Three forwards. He's got the yeah, you know, They don't. You, fit. Know, you know, in a way, Correa, a, a, a mobile. They like to do one and two. Yeah. You know, one and two. Maybe that is okay for Sarri, but I don't know if you want to play four three three. I don't. I don't know how you play. I mean, play I guess he put game. he puts Correa on the left. Maybe he puts lots of me on the right. I don't know. But yeah, I, I they don't. They don't fit. Situations with Napoli early on. I think when when uh, Hamstick and them were all there. No, unless unless you know what he can do, what he can do. Like he he play Mertens at Napoli. He make like Correa play yeah. like that. 
I the, think the one figure. thing that he has going for him for Lazio is that they're all players who've been there for a long time, so they know each other. So they should be able to buy into the system together all at once because they've all played with each other. But it's not going to be easy for him because he's got no bench. That bench sucks. Well, but I think you do have to remember too is Sarri is a guy that like really doesn't even play his bench that much. If you remember, no, he doesn't. It's yeah. true. Oh. I, Oh. Sorry, he plays the same starters every week. I think he's going to do exactly to Napoli. I think they're going to play entertaining. They're going to score a lot of goals, give up a lot of goals, and in the end, come somewhere between four and six. Yeah, I agree. Um, that's it's possible. Uh, Rome, we got Mourinho. Rome, I got Mourinho. I, this, know, is a terrible, this is a terrible one. move, too. I don't think this is I good. know, Mourinho, he, he tried for Donnarumma now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, you know, Mourinho. I mean, I don't know how, where they see that one really fitting in. His last few jobs, he's, been, he's done terribly. You know, he, yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't done well. He 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 fights. The thing with Rome is they're. Um, it's the hardest team to coach. Like the I, journalists I, I, are, are I, I, very I, I, difficult. I, I, it's not a good spot. I think Mourinho. Mourinho for me, it's a question mark. You know yeah. why? Because they say Mourinho is the he played defense a lot. They can't play defense in Rome. In Roma, they cannot play defense. They, they don't, don't have to play defense. First of all, he, he needs a goalie, number one. I mean, he's, if he doesn't, if he didn't say, listen, and I'm they not can have anything, unless you give me a goalie, Bro, he, he's also, a moron. Time out, just going, and this is off topic, but like there was a rumor today that Dortmund was going to give $10 million for Drakowski. It, Rome is morons if they don't hop 10 on million? that. That's it, $10 million for Drakowski. But anyway, I just. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I mean, they have to. They have a lot yeah, of me, issues. Ten, ten million for D- Drakowski. I mean, I would. T- I would take Drakowski for ten million. And would they just team. keep him though for ten million? Yeah. Let's I, just say. Let's talk about this. Uh, Fiorentina got two so stuff. Drakowski okay. ten million. Uh, Milinkovic. Uh, Milinkovic say he wants to leave. Yeah, Catuso trying to convince him to stay. Hey, I would get rid of him. I would too. No, you went to Swansea. I don't want him in like I, I don't. I don't. I think, I think he's actually play, overrated yeah. too. I think he's, he's overrated. He's overrated. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's good, good, but he's good, but he's not great. It's I like, think of it's all not the great moves, because you play Fiorentina. No, I think he's just. I don't think. I don't think he's even going to be Romero on you. Like if you want to be, be, I don't even think he'd be that good. I, I think of all the moves, of all the coaching moves, and, and so Swallow hasn't picked the coach. There was rumors that Pirlo maybe goes over there. Really? But, um, uh, of yeah. all of all the moves, I think the teams that made best out of the coaching moves were yeah, this with I don't, Allegri. I don't see the bad uh, Pirlo Sassuolo, especially if they keep the same people. The, and you make him play the same day that they, 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 you know. Well, I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to be sellers, too. I don't think they're going to be keeping. And I think I that's going to be the same team. people who already Locatello leave you know. Boga, Boga's rumored to move to Atalanta. Yeah, they're going to get Yeah, I mean, the apart. thing is about that, right? If he went to Sassuolo, he didn't really improve anyone on our team. Why would you give him a bunch of players and say, improve my players? Listen, he, was supposed, he was supposed to be an under-23 coach. You guys are forgetting. Wasn't he supposed to improve players? I guess, yeah. but I mean, I didn't see it. Did you see you it? You guys are forgetting the best coaching change. What? It's the Torino. Juric to Torino is going to help because Torino was a disaster. Yeah, and, and Juric deserves a team that's going to spend more money like Torino. Like yeah, they spend see, decent wages see, and all that. Greg, uh, right. going to Sassuolo, Pirlo, it's not has a, has a lot of limit because he has Ronaldo, he has Chiellini, he has Buffon. It's a so he can put a, yeah, it's a different situation. We're giving him credit. We're assuming that he can make the most out of that situation. I don't know if he does. He get that benefit of the doubt now. I don't know. And again, that that's not that one's not official. That was just a rumor that I heard that he might go there. Well, okay, um, so right. you're to Torino. Where do you think that gets Torino? You think top half of the table? Just that yeah. move alone? I think yeah. that gets him top. Half of the top. Table. I think yeah. that they gets have a, they have a gets him yeah. yeah, I think so too. Top I actually yeah. think Fiorentina is the other team with Gattuso. That made the best move. I think they can see the biggest improvement this year with Gattuso because their team's not bad. Yeah, they underperformed uh, all year. Hey, if you're a team that they want to give a, a position to Ribery, why is Gattuso? Oh, really? And a player? Yeah, player and vice. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the other move, I mean, Ribery, I, I, I can have him go. I don't think he does much. For, I mean, he's good, but he's not. 
he's not what they need. They need they need to I thought that, I heard a while ago he was just gonna leave. He doesn't wanna stay anymore, but um the other one is Ranieri left Sam. Where'd he yeah, go? He, he's just left. Ranieri is going to go to left, just left left in Prague. Yeah, in his contract. He's going to Prague. And that's a big loss. Um, you know, in the league, league, a, a league French, the, the team that, that, that won the um, championship is French. No. Okay. Lille. Lille. Oh, yeah. That's a good move. Lille. I mean, they're, they're, getting, they're getting all their players bought, too. They're getting rated. So they're getting rated, yeah. So why um, do you think he's leaving? Just didn't feel like the project in San Salvador was going anywhere? No, First of all, he, their owner is crazy. So you can't because he got enough for, for this French team. The team that won the championship in French. Yeah, but he yeah, left before that, that happened. Yeah, it's true. He's already gone to England. So, yeah, so he gets more money. Yeah. Just based off coaching moves from the, from what we've seen so far, I see Torino moving up to top 10. I see Sassuolo dipping out of top 10. I see wow, Sam dipping because, out of top because, 10. Just coach alone. Because you're rich. I see Fiorentina moving to well, the top 10. About I see Juventus about winning the league. Based off the based off the coach, you think things. about too much about coach. No, no, I think, coaches. I think matter. coaches. I'm with Daniel on this one. I'm with Daniel on this one. I think I think coaches difference. totally matter. I think Urich gets some top half. I'm not willing to say top ten until I see. Hey, top ten is this top half. Hey, top ten. I thought it was. I thought it was. Urich, you go to the team. Two two people from Barona, Barak and somebody else. I would take the Marco. The Marco. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, Listen, Inter's in, in financial problems. They're going to have to sell. Uh, yeah, in, uh, Inter could be a totally different team next year. Yeah, I mean, they could, Inter could which, literally go from one to seventh if they end up selling all those people. But which sucks too, because like then you wonder why like Italy doesn't do good in the Champions League, right? Like they lose all their players. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, but I, mean, I think, I think. Is... Uh, Listen, was I too excited about Allegri with Juventus? No, but I think it was probably the right move at the right time. What was going on? They're going to be more consistent than last year. That's I mean, good. what? Here's the question: What would you have been more excited about? Who would you have been more excited? Zidane coming? I mean, would that have gotten you? Gasparini. But available player, not available coach is what I'm saying. He wasn't really available. So no, he was available. available if you wanted. No, because Zidane is kind of like Pirlo too, right? Like he has more experience, but like, yeah. has he won anything when his teams weren't that good? I... Yeah, but I understand. Wants to do the, the formation, most Italian people. So Allegri is no more, more than. Uh, yeah, I like when they have an Italian coach. I, I mean, I do like that. I, I think you know if they would if they were they're not ready. They don't have a great team, but if they could have given, you know, Gasparini a four year deal to like retire, try to retire and win something with Juventus, I think that would have been a good. Would have been excited about that. Okay, but it um, wasn't realistic. Yeah, wasn't I don't think happen. any of the other coaches really excited me yeah. all that much. Well, it's rumored. Frank, you see what happened? Uh, Allegri, Allegri, when he got to Juventus, he know most of the player. He said, Perini, if you go there, he has to tell them everything. Even he know, yeah. he has to. You know. G- well, Gasparini well, goes there. He, yeah. He's going to say, oh, okay, give me Ghosts, give me Zapata. Yeah. I want those players. You know that? Well, that's probably the other reason why I think I wanted Gasparini, right? To get the. But it's true. The current <laughs> players Juventus has, they can't play Gas. They can't play Gasparini's. No, they don't run. They're too slow. <laughs> they're not in good enough shape. And they're not even technically good enough in a lot of positions. So yeah. it wouldn't work. The only one who can play Gasparini is my yeah. kid. Nah, Keza. Keza, 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 Keza McKenny, Quadrado, Delit, Delit, you know, but quad, but but you have a, you know, I think it's a simpler change to Allegri, right? Like, yeah, um, um really, so that's the coaches. That's only the coaches that we talked yeah. about. We didn't even talk about any players. The other player that we really only have to talk about right now is that Donnarumma is officially gone from Milan. You know, because. Uh, yeah. They signed Mignon from Lil. Yeah, but still, uh, we don't know if it's with us. So we don't know where he's going to go, but the rumors are crazy out there that he's even willing to accept less than what even Milan well, offered. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that either. I don't, I don't get it. It's crazy to even think about the that. Most, the, you man, know what the, the most, was the most, the most, you know what I believe? It's the of Milan that gave, gave to him $8 million. Because you see, now he wants to stay. He needs. So you get to eight million. There's no, to take, there's no reason for him to take less. <laughs> <laughs> what 
<laughs> he's comfortable in his seat over there. Yeah. Oh, you see me? I barely. I barely. Yeah, we'll the other way in your chair. Uh, um, what do you call? I, I mean, I, eight million. I think is a reasonable amount for him. Yeah, I, well, I would, why would you take less money? That makes no sense. He's not gonna take. He's not gonna take less money. If I'm if I'm a player and I have my agents to make me get less money and he gets a check for twenty million, I'd be like, what the hell? Yeah, I'm paying for you. Why am I paying you? Like, what? Maybe like, maybe they have a side deal to sign his brother to, or I don't know, his uh, brother. Yeah, that's gonna make the difference. Yeah, that, that was a uh, uh, play under twenty three. His brother. His brother, yeah, his brother was on Milan, so they they had both of them. Um, he's not good, but they had him on the no, team, <laughs> you know. I mean, so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the biggest player that that's been talked of, and that we know is definitely moving. Um, other than that, just season because of the Euros too. Like usually, when there's a big international tournament, stuff doesn't happen to after that tournament. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're gonna see any players from <laughs> you know during the, the I thought, tournament. I, I thought uh, I thought before I said no, I don't want went to do the national. You say you have to take my brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to see players moving during the tournament. It's going to be after no. the tournament. No, you take my brother. He's such a child. This <laughs> and we have to sit next to each other on the plane. <laughs>